To rainbowize your keyboard to match all can play piano song sheets, you'll need poster mounting putty, scissors, paper, preferably heavier paper or cardstock, and a color printer. Since all octaves on a piano look alike, it can be confusing to know where you're at. All can play uses the seven colors of the rainbow to shade the seven octaves of a full-sized keyboard. An easy way to remember rainbow order is to think of the colorfully dressed Roy G. Biv. The letters of his name stand for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Once you've memorized rainbow order, if you see a key marked in, say, the red octave, you'd know to play in the first octave on a full-size keyboard. Most melodies occur in the green octave, around middle C, as it's closest to the human voice range. So your right hand will probably spend most of its time here. Think of it as sweet green grass. But occasionally, your right hand will need to rise into the cool air of the blue octave. Meanwhile, your left hand will typically play chords and harmonies in the warm soil of the yellow octave. To rainbowize your keyboard, first print out the strips in the rainbow keyboard text file. You can print to plain paper, but heavier or cardstock paper will wrinkle less and be more durable. Next, use scissors to cut along the solid lines to separate the colored strips. The dashed line indicates where you'll fold the strip on the ledge above the piano keys. If your keyboard doesn't have a ledge, Cut along the dashed line and use just half of the strip, which you're going to fix to a flat surface above the keys. If you have a full-size keyboard, locate the first octave, which begins with C1, the fourth key from the bottom. Fold the red strip along its dashed line over the ledge above the keys and align it with C1. If your piano doesn't have a ledge, simply lay your half strip on the keys. The strip should extend to the right edge of the B key. If it's a bit long, trim it to fit. If it's a bit short, it won't be a problem. If your keyboard is less than full size, with perhaps only four or five octaves, first find middle C using the instructions in the keyboard and keys lesson if needed. Start the process with the green C4 strip above the middle C octave. Then you'll add as many strips or parts of strips as will fit above and below. Pull off a chunk of putty and apply tiny dots, the smaller the better, along the back edges of a strip. Align the strip over its octave and press down to attach it to the ledge or a flat surface above the keys. Repeat the process for the remaining strips until all octaves are covered and you've completely rainbowized your keyboard. Surprisingly, once you become accustomed to playing with rainbow octaves, you may start to imagine seeing them on non-rainbowized keyboards. You'll now be less likely to play in the wrong octave.